Hi, I'm Davina Odisusula. I study computer science at UNSW on the co-op scholarship. My most recent role was Chief Technology Officer at Eucalyptus, which is a Australian health tech startup focused on delivering high quality healthcare through multiple online digital clinics or brands, um, some of which you may have heard of, Pilot, Kinfertility, Juniper Software and Compound. Um, going back to how I chose this career, growing up I really loved to build things and I was very lucky to be brought up in a family that uh, was involved in tech which made me aware of it as an industry and as a potential career path. I love tinkering with things like Microsoft Paint, MySpace, <laughs> customizations and building websites and then in high school I did a computer science summer camp and I think that was really the turning point for me where I met an amazing community of peers that made me feel like these were my people and these were people that like I wanted to kind of pursue a career with. Um, so I decided to study computer science and I particularly knew it was important for me to establish a really good technical foundation, um, learn a broad range of skills and domains and really, really understand the, the fundamentals through um, this degree. Uh, with Corp specifically, I had three placements, two at Atlassian and one at News Corp as a software engineer. And outside of co-op, um, where there were gaps in between placements, I also did internships with Google in Sydney and in the US. Uh, this kind of led me to my most recent role. Um, yeah, in terms of the previous years, I had been a software engineer, then a senior software engineer, and then uh, transitioned into engineering leadership, which is more like the management um, type roles that you would see um, in engineering teams. Um, in terms of the CTO, CTO role specifically, it really varies depending on the company needs. Um, but in general, how I would describe it is it's a senior exec role that manages the organization's technology and the team. Uh, you're essentially the bridge between the technology and the business. Um, you're responsible for many different things, but broadly speaking, um, the technology strategy, the resources, the projects, um, the teams within that, and also innovation um, in technology. And your role is to make sure they're all working in harmony to achieve the business's goals and at the end of the day, delivering value to the end users um, of your company or of your product. Uh, in terms of a typical day, there is no typical day. It really depends on the time of the quarter. Um, some days you'll be in exec meetings, some days you'll be interviewing, um, some days you'll be doing like a all hands to the whole organization or even the company. Um, or maybe you'll be aspiring and being a little bit more hands-on. Um, but I think because it is so dynamic, it can be challenging, but also I think that's what makes it fun because um, each day you wake up, make, making sure you're solving the most important problems and that can change day to day um, and adds a lot of variety to uh, your job. Career highlight. Um, there are so many highlights. I feel very fortunate for the opportunities I've had in tech. Um, I would say I'm most proud of working with the amazing team at Eucalyptus um, and scaling us from an early stage startup. When I first joined, there were around 10 people. We had one brand and we were only operating in one country, Australia. Um, but most recently, we're now at hundreds of employees. We've got five brands and we're all operating in multiple countries. And I think the impact that I've seen the company have um, on its mission around healthcare. Um, yeah, it's super fulfilling because you get to personally impact people's lives and I think that's really what technology should be doing. Um, I'm also really proud of the engineering team that we built at Eucalyptus. Um, I've worked with some amazingly talented people who are amazing problem solvers and um, yeah, getting in the trenches with them and solving really gnarly problems has definitely been the highlight of my career. And I think a lot of this was possible because of the many many teams I got to work with and I was exposed to so many different projects, um, team dynamics, ways of working uh, through these placements and internships and that experience taught me a lot um, about how to best work with a team and how to best lead a team. In terms of advice for people going through the program or just starting out um, their career in tech, it's super exciting, you're going to have a lot of fun. Um, I would say definitely try to go broad, get exposed to many different things, teams, skills. Um, this is really the best time to be learning and getting exposed to different things. Um, not only to um, broaden your skill set, but also for you to learn what you like and what you don't like, because then you can kind of um, pivot or course correct your, your career from there. Um, my second tip would be try to get practical experience where you can. That's why co-op is such a great program. 
a lot of engineering in the industry obviously is a technical part, but it's also learning how to prioritize, how to make trade-offs, how to deliver the goals of your team through your specific role. Um, any hands-on or practical experience in the industry will really, really um, fast track your learning in this um, department. Uh, the third one, which everyone experiences, imposter syndrome, you'll feel it, everyone feels it. I definitely did, I still do sometimes. Um, I would say try to channel that energy into something positive. I think it's a really good sign that you're feeling that because when you feel uncomfortable, it means you're challenging yourself. Um, and once you've identified that, then you can figure out how to solve that. Do you need more support? Do you need to spend a bit more time understanding a technical concept? Do you need to go and seek a mentor? Um, once you've found yourself in this um, discomfort, I would say lean into it and try and figure out how you can learn and grow from that. Um, once you get further into your career, as I said kind of before, um, role models and mentors are super helpful. Um, I had them throughout my career, even in the CTO role. Um, you can find them through your peers, through the program, the startup or the tech community. There's so many great people out there. Um, so yeah, definitely go and seek them out and if you need support, they're always great to, to chat to and kind of guide you on your career journey. And last but not least, in terms of what I look for in um, engineers or grads, like culturally we're always looking for people who are hungry, humble and curious. Um, people who are great problem solvers and are able to use first principles thinking and also empathetic towards their team and their users. Um, that's it from me. Hope that was helpful. Um, and yeah, good luck with your career journey.